Okay, what I want to talk about tonight is how the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame should change its name to a Music Hall of Fame. It is no longer just for rock and roll. It needs to stop calling itself that. Uh, I'm saying that because how they crossed over over the years. And they're putting people in that's rap, that's dance, like Madonna. Uh, now they're going to put disco in it. I'm trying to explain what disco has to do with rock and roll. No, but let's take a look now at what the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame actually says about how they get in. Okay? Individuals are qualified for induction 25 years after the release of their first record. Demonstrated influence and significant significance within the history of rock and roll. Okay, remember that the history of rock and roll. They're using the name rock and roll. They're not saying music. They're not saying rap. They're not saying disco. They're saying rock and roll. Okay, that's what they're saying. Yet they keep putting in non-rock and roll acts. The leaving out rock and roll acts that should be in there. Like, how can you put Run DNC? His only claim to fame for rock and roll is doing a duet with Aerosmith. That's it. One song. They get in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but a great group like the Booty Blues, who actually did contribute to rock and roll, isn't in there. Or another great group like Steppenwolf. I mean, I can go on list and list of people who aren't in there and there should be. I realize hey, they can put anybody in they want to. But be honest about it. Say why you're doing it. Don't say it's, well, it's not record sales. It's not. It's popularity. You know, let's be honest. It's about money. If they cross over and put in Madonna, what are you going to happen? What's going to happen? You're going to get Madonna fans. Something. It means more people are going to go through the door, right? Put rap in, you're going to get the rap crowd in. That's all it is. It's about money. Now, you don't see any other rock, uh, Hall of Fames doing this. You don't see Country and Western putting in the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. They're not in the Country Rock and Roll Hall. Country Hall of Fame. They're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, where they should be. Uh, jazz has its own Hall of Fame. You don't see them crossing over like this. Uh, classical music has a Hall of Fame. Uh, sports has a Hall of Fame. Football, baseball. They don't cross over like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is doing. And then they're trying to say, well, they're contributing. They're not contributing. How, how is rap contributing anything to rock and roll? How many rappers out there have influenced people to actually pick a guitar up and start playing it or singing instead of just talking into a microphone? And people have forgotten the disco and rock and roll wars of the late 70s. Rock and roll hated disco. Disco hated rock and roll. They never bonded together, but yet, yet you're going to put Donna Summers in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This it makes no sense. But it makes no sense because they're calling it a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, if they called it a Music Hall of Fame, okay, I could understand that part. But not if you make rules to what it takes to get into it, influencing rock and roll. No rapper or disco artist has ever influenced rock and roll. This just didn't happen. Uh, people can argue that part, but it's a valid argument. Uh, another thing, too, if you have to think about this, too. If rap ever had a Hall of Fame, they might someday. Do you think they're going to put Aerosmith in it because they did a duet with Run DMC. Do you think you're going to see the Beatles in it or the Rolling Stones? No. 
So this is why it's ridiculous to call it a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. When you have people in that there that did not do anything for Rock and Roll. Now you might not agree with that, but uh, I can go on lists of people that should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that aren't above these other people who are, but again it's money. You know? They want to get people through the doors. The more they cross over, the more they're widening their attendance. Like I said, just stop calling it a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame then. Call it a Music Hall of Fame. Well, leave a comment if you want.